Welcome to The Personal CFO. Today we're going to be talking about international investing. We're going to look back at history and see if there's any patterns that we see that might help us be more successful as long-term investors. So this chart here goes back and it looks at, okay, which did better, international or domestic? And it looks at these 10-year windows. Now, why 10 years? Because on any given year, anything can happen. On any 10 years, anything can happen. However, when we're looking at this, what does it show us? Well, it shows one decade international outperforms, then the next decade US outperforms, and then it just switches, and then it switches. And during each of those decades, everyone looks at the one that's doing the best that they own, and they say, well, why would I even own the other? So back in you know the last 10 years, the US has outperformed, and everybody says, well, why would I own international? Well, the 10 years before that, when the US was not doing so great, people said, well, why would I own US? It's always lagging, but it just feels that way. And what happens is, it just changes. Now, why might one reason be that it goes back and forth? Well, when you have one that does really well and the other that doesn't do as well, you have one asset class get more expensive relative to the other asset class. So switching charts, this here shows how international is valued relative to US markets. And as you can see, it's going down and down and down, which means it's pretty inexpensive relative to those US markets. So what does that mean if we have a pretty relative international exposure relative to U.S. markets? Well, going back, right, if we look at the next 10 years, we don't know what's going to outperform. But whose turn is it? And which asset class, U.S. or international, is less expensive? Now, again, this is not an investment recommendation. However, this does allow us to kind of zoom out, look at history, and hopefully make more educated investment decisions. Hope you found this helpful, and as always, thanks for investing your time with the personal CFO.